It has now been almost six months since I moved into my flat here in Hökerängen in Stockholm. And I thought that it's about time for us to do another apartment tour and have a look at how everything turned out in the end. I spent a lot of time in the beginning fixing everything up and over the past two months I've done some details that I really think make this flat a pretty nice home to be living in. But first of all, let's go to one of the plant stores here in the area and pick up some as big plants as possible to make some use of this ceiling height that we have that I wanted to use in some particular way. This is the spot where I'm gonna put the plants that I'm buying today. And uh, as you can see, I already put one in there, although I think it's a little bit too small, both for the pot and for the ceiling height. That is super high. So I want things that are like a meter to a meter and a half or more. Uh, I would like to have bigger, but it's so hard to transport plants. So we'll see what I can find and uh, put in place in those spots. I'm done with the shopping and went kind of all out, but I think this will turn out really well. I'm just going to try to fit it into the rental car, which will be an interesting project right now. All good. I think it's gonna work really well actually. I might have spilled a little bit of soil somewhere, but I think that will uh, work out. So let's head home and put these guys in place, see how it turns out. To be able to put up those plants, I think I'm gonna need a ladder because they're gonna be placed pretty high up. And also to be able to water them, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a ladder. So I will use the rest of my car rental time to drive to Biltema and pick up a ladder so that I can use this for the future. Wow, wow. Ooh. Now that we have the plants in place, I think it is well about time to do a full round tour of how the flat looks right now. When you come in through the door, you enter into the hallway. And here I finally got a mirror in place together with the coat hanger. If you go to the right, you come into the bedroom. And the bedroom I thought originally I would use as my bedroom. But it turns out that I prefer sleeping on the mezzanine. And I have used this mainly as a guest room when friends have been coming over and also hosted quite a lot of couch surfers. I've been big into couch surfing before, but during the past few years I've been living in very small spaces and didn't have really the opportunity to host people. So having enough space and a separate room to be able to host couch surfers is such a huge bonus for me with this flat. In here, as you can see, we have the bed, but we also have the wardrobe space and we have these amazing plants that I picked up from the store just before. There is also the piano and guitar, which I haven't made as much use of as I wish I would. But one thing I really made use of was that I put a hydroponic garden setup in the window here. And the amount of basil and salad this has been producing has been pretty amazing. And uh, the basil is still going very strong here in the window. Moving on, we get into the living room and kitchen space. And this is the part where you tend to hang out the most. Partly because I have these really nice lounge chairs here, together with this little side table. And I really like the way that these combine, together with the books and the plants that they are set up with. Moving along, we have the dining table set up, 
And this is the way I normally use it. This is the medium size of the table and it also folds out to a wider size that makes it about 50 centimeters longer or to a smaller size that makes it 50 centimeters shorter. Another thing I really enjoy here in the living room is this roof lamp that is from a French designer and that's got all of these little cute birds in it. I still love the green color of the kitchen and the color of the kitchen in combination with the ceiling height and the way I've been able to put those really big plants there is something that I truly appreciate with this apartment. I put a few appliances in the kitchen area, mainly the coffee machine that used to be in my camper van but that I moved in here. It's not a fancy machine by any means but it is doing its job and is giving me some kind of decent quality espresso in the morning. There are also some really nice details in this kitchen that I enjoy, both in terms of decoration and plants that are up top there. When I made my coffee here, then I would be ready to move upstairs to the mezzanine, which is where I have my home office set up. And this is one of the parts that I've been surprised with how well it worked. Both the monitor, the desk and the chair has been super well working. And also the small details such as the desk lamp that also moves over to become a bedside table lamp when I go to bed. The bed setup here is a carp bed similar to the bed that was in the bedroom. And these beds both fold up to become couches if I want to use the space in a different way. Up in the mezzanine I also store my bike when I'm not using it. I have a bike storage here but I don't really trust those bike storage rooms so I put it on the mezzanine as flush as possible together with the fence so that it doesn't take up much space. When I sit and work here at the mezzanine I have a lovely view of all the green space outside as well as seeing all the way to the Avicii Arena which is further into central Stockholm. This space is also large enough for using as a meditation corner and if you fold up the bed into a couch it is big enough to use for a little yoga session as well. If we move downstairs again, here we have the bathroom, the way that I ended up setting it up. Also having some pieces of art in the bathroom I think really make a difference and it's something that I have appreciated a lot that I put there in the beginning when moving in. Last but not least we have the balcony space and the balcony space I have set up with one little cafe set with two chairs to it and one lounge area with a sofa that has room for about three or maybe four people if you squeeze a little bit. There are cushions for the sofa and cushions for the cafe set, although I keep them stored away when I'm not using the balcony. That is it for touring this flat and I have to say I've been feeling truly at home here. I love the combination of all the furniture that I've inherited from my grandparents together with the stuff that I bought new, the fact that I've been able to get some combination of Japanese furniture and uh, Swedish or Scandinavian furniture I think goes really well together and the plants I really enjoy and I've been able to keep them alive even though I'm not here all of the time because I work in Gothenburg. What do you think of the flat so far? Is there anything that you would change or alter? I would be super keen to hear down in the comment section below and if you want more of these kind of videos please subscribe to this channel Exploring Yourself. I will do my best to put up videos here on a somewhat regular basis. Have a real nice day and then I hope I will see you either here in this flat if you come visit or somewhere else in the world. Bye bye!